This is Jody and Molly. We are from Northwest Iowa Community College. We are in the Computer Science and Networking Technology program, and this was an assignment for our data obstruction class. We had to choose a toy to write a program on. Molly chose a butterfly and Jody chose a chopper. The video we will show you will be on the chopper. Here are a picture of the parts of the chopper that we are going to be talking about. This is the bowl. This is the egg beater. This is the basket. The small lid. This is your crank with your knob and your handle. Your blade. And then this is your top shaft cover, your bottom shaft cover, your top shaft, and your bottom shaft, and then there's also three gears inside this. Hello. Molly has done a really great job at putting together a flow chart for our quick chop. Here we're going to have the, the file, the test file for quick chop. Then we have chopper main. And then we'll, we're breaking down the parts of the, the chopper. There's a bowl, an egg beater, a crank, a basket, a gear assembly, a small lid, a blade, and then the crank itself breaks down into a knob and a handle. The gear assembly breaks down into a bottom shaft, a top shaft, a top gear cover, a bottom gear cover, a gear, and a gear shaft. These will be the files that will be incorporated into the Quick Chop project in Visual Studio 2010. Here we are in Visual Studio. We have created the Quick Chopper project and we have created all the files that we need to make the chopper put together and run. We have the header files which correspond with the flow chart. We have the chopper, the bowl, the basket, the blade, the egg beater, the gear assembly, the handle, the knob, the small lid, and the gear assembly has the top gear cover, the bottom gear cover, bottom shaft, top shaft, and the gears. And down here we have the CPP files that correspond with all the header files except for one CPP this particular file is created to run a test and it contains the main. Here we brought you back to the flowchart of the quick chop. This is where we want to talk about the function flow from the quick chop test file, chopper main, to just the bowl. We just want to place the bowl on the table. Here we are back in Visual Studio and we're looking at the quick chop, the chopper CPP, the chopper H, the bowl CPP, and the bowl H. As you can see here in Chopper, we have created the definitions. Included IO stream, include string, and included all the H files that are going to be on that particular tier of the flowchart. We've got the class Chopper, and in the private, we created the names of the variables that you will see in the other files.
And now in the public, we have created the functions that are going to be used in the other files. <coughs> in the quick chop CPP, we have created, gave the class a name and called it choppy. And we said choppy place bowl. Okay, and then chopper CPP, we're voiding this for now, place bowl, and then we use the variable, a bowl, and placed it. In the bowl H, we created a class called bowl, and we are placing the bowl here also. And in the bowl CPP, we're seeing out, letting the program know to place the bowl on a surface. We'll debug it and see what it says first. Place bowl on surface. Here we are back at the flow chart. And now we're going to look at the flow of the function from the quick chop test file, chopper main, crank, down to the knob. As before, when we were doing the quick chop, chopper, and bowl, the functions are going to be similar but named differently in egg beater, basket, gear assembly, small lid, and blade and crank will be the same. They're all going to have a flow of a function to these second tier. But this, the next screen will, we're going to look at the flow to the knob. Similar to the bowl flow of function to place a bowl. Here we're going to have a similar function to the crank. The chop, quick chop CPP. We're putting the crank on and then we're going to turn the knob. The chopper H contains those functions. Turn knob and put crank right here. We're going to do that. And turn knob. So we're all set up there. And the flow goes to chopper CPP. So we putting the crank and we're going to turn the knob. Okay. Then we're going to go over here to the crank files. We've got in the crank CPP we have the function turn a knob. And in the crank H, we're stating what they're going to be called and we're putting and we're going to turn. And the knob H has the function of turn. And the knob CPP, use hand, use knob to turn handle. Okay, now we'll debug it and we'll see what it says in our output. Put handle on crankshaft, use knob to turn handle.
Oh!